Hey, what's up? David here, coming back to you with my third video, and uh, to give you guys a little rundown about what's going to be going on with this channel for a little while. Um, basically, I'm not going to be able to buy new stuff too, too often, so I want to wait until I get some more new releases come in, and then I'll do more of those kind of videos, but uh, for now, what I'm going to do is go through my CD collection for you guys. I have a little over 100 CDs. I've been collecting these for the past quite a few years now, and uh, yeah, I figured that's the best way to keep some content going on my channel for you guys to check out and enjoy. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get to it. Today we will be going from we will go and be going through A through B. So uh, yeah. First up, we have Abyssal with Denoutment. Uh, this is their first full-length album, and this is released on Health Thrasher Productions. Uh, if you don't know anything about Abyssal, um, atmospheric black death doom from the UK. It's a one-man project, uh, which is fucking impressive. This guy's work is just genius. I, I fucking love this project so much. Uh, thank you so much, Wyatt, for getting me into it. Um, but, uh... Not much is known about the dude, you know, he, he remains, uh, you know, anonymous, nothing publicly about him is really known, but, oh, yeah, man, whoever this guy is, he just makes some fucking killer, killer, just atmospheric, extreme metal. I mean, you know, if you like just punishing just fucking heavy riffs, but at the same time, catchy, you know, melodies and just, um, you know, like I said, just awesome, awesome atmosphere, uh, Give Abyssal a listen, especially if you like bands like Portal or uh, Evangelist. This is a must. So, Abyssal with an outment. And next up, we got Anthrax with uh, Spreading the Disease. This is their second full-length album, released in 1985. And, uh... Anthrax is a band that I really feel like they need no introduction. Chances are you guys already know who Anthrax are. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm still a big fan of them. I, th I think they've been doing a lot better with their, their last couple uh, albums over the years. But, uh, yeah, Spreading the Disease, this is a great album. Uh, unfortunately, I don't own their first full-length, uh, Fistful of Metal. But, uh, yeah, uh, Anthrax, Spreading the Disease. Uh, some really, really great tracks on here. A AIR, you know, Madhouse, everyone knows that song. Uh, Medusa, Armed and Dangerous, The Enemy. Um, and front to back, this is just a great album. Just really killer, catchy thrash metal. Joey Belladonna's awesome, awesome singing voice. You can't go wrong. So, Anthrax, spreading the disease. Uh, and next up, we have Anthrax with uh, Among the Living. Uh, this is their third full-length album. Uh, released in 1987. Uh, you know, pretty much just building off what they were doing with Spreading the Disease and just improving on it with this album. Uh, I, I feel like uh, most Anthrax fans would probably agree that this is one of their best, if not their best. You know, this is definitely a fan favorite album for Anthrax fans, myself included. But uh, yeah, some, uh, man, again, front to back, great album. It's, uh, it's hard to pick any standout tracks, but uh, let's see. The, the title track, Among the Living, Caught in a Mosh. Uh, Indians. Oh, man, I, I love that fucking riff on Indians. Really, really cool shit. So, uh, yeah, Anthrax, Among the Living. And we have Anthrax again with uh, State of Euphoria. Uh, uh, again, just, you know, continuing in that same, that same direction from the other albums. There's just there's not really a whole lot different that, uh, that I can say about it just again front to back it's an awesome awesome anthrax album you know if you like the classic anthrax you ain't gonna be disappointed <laughs> uh be all and all be all and all is awesome uh now it's dark uh antisocial cool stuff anthrax state of euphoria oh yeah released in 1988 And uh, this is the final Anthrax album that I own, uh, Percentages of Time, uh, their fourth full length, or wait, no, fifth, right? Yes, fifth. <laughs> uh, yeah, Anthrax Percentages of Time, released in 1990. Um, again, you know, not a whole lot different that I can say with this. Uh, maybe this is their best 
produced of their early albums, I guess you could say. But uh, yeah, again, it's, it's classic Anthrax. Not much else needs to be said. If you're an Anthrax fan, it's a no-brainer. Uh, standout tracks, uh, Time, uh, In My World, Belly of the Beast, uh, Got the Time is a really fun one, although I believe that's a cover. And at the moment, I can't remember who that's originally by. So forgive me for that. But uh, yeah, Anthrax, Persistence of Time. From there, we go to a different band, Animals as Leaders. Uh, awesome, awesome uh, progressive metal from today. In my opinion, probably one of my favorite of the modern progressive metal bands going right now. Um, you know, Animals as Leaders, you're either, you're either into this kind of style or you're not. I, I kind of feel like there's kind of really no middle ground when it comes to this kind of stuff. Either people there seem to love or hate it. I'm one of the people that love it. I'm a huge progressive metal fan. This is their latest full length, The Madness of Many. This came out in uh, 2016, and it was part of my favorites uh, for that year. I've seen this band live once. They're amazing. Just, you know, if, if you're a fan of this and you get to, uh, the opportunity to see them live, don't skip out on that. They will not disappoint. But, um, yeah, that's, it's a pretty good album. I don't know if I'd say it's my favorite. Uh, probably maybe, like, the self-titled, I think, is still my favorite. But, um, yeah. If you like Animals as Leaders, uh, you know, it's, it's definitely a must, you know, definitely check it out. So, Animals as Leaders, The Madness of Many. And next, here's one that you guys may, I guarantee a lot of you probably haven't heard of. This is uh, Arachnid with their, uh, it's self-titled, so just Arachnid. Because um, originally, this was not a full-length album release. This was a... Uh, this is a demo from the early 90s, and this did not get, like, uh, like remastered, re-recorded and everything until, like, the early 2000s. But uh, Arachnid is a killer, killer death thrash band. If you like stuff like, uh, let's see, well, you know, death thrash, you know what death thrash is more than likely. But um, uh, the band that I can think of to compare them, compare them to most is Morbid Saint. If you're not available with Morbid Saint, go on, like, YouTube right now. Go check out the album Spectrum of Death. That is some of the most killer death thrash that you will ever hear. And uh, this is very, very similar. Just just really fucking vicious killer riffs. Evil, evil fucking sounding vocals. It's This is some really good shit. So, yeah, Arachnid. Check this out for sure. Next up, we have the EP from Blood Incantation, uh, Interdimensional Extinction. Oh my god, I, I, I fucking love Blood Incantation. This is one of my favorite death metal bands going right now. Uh, released on Dark Descent. This came out in 2015. Uh, like I said, just an EP that contains uh, four tracks. You know, obviously not as good as their fucking masterpiece, Star Spawn, which, hint, hint, we'll probably get to in a second. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man, Blood Incantation. Uh, just... As I've described them before, cosmic, atmospheric, death metal. Really, really cool stuff. If you haven't checked out Blood Incantation, fucking do it, man. Do it. So, yeah. Interdimensional extinction. <laughs> surprise, surprise, right? So, yeah, now we have Blood Incantation with uh, Star Spawn. This was... I really regret not discovering this band until, like, later after this album was released. Because it came out uh, in 2016, and I had already done, like, my year-end list and everything. And I checked this out a little later. I was like, fuck, how did I miss out on this? Because, you know, so many people were talking about this. But I didn't really know about the labels like Profound Lore, Dark Descent. I, I really didn't get into that realm of extreme metal quite yet. But, uh, yeah, Star Spawn. My only complaint with this album, honestly is, uh, it's only, it's pretty short, it's only like 34 minutes, but that is 34 minutes that is not wasted at all. This album is incredible, man. So yeah, Blood Incantation, Star Spawn, if you haven't heard it, but I know a lot of you guys already have, check it out, man. Next up, we have one of my all-time favorite progressive metal bands, who sadly, I don't know if they're going to continue or not at this point. I'm really worried about it because I said things haven't been going well with this project, but uh, it's a uh, it's a super group project. It's got um, it's got Alex Webster from Cannibal Corpse as the bassist, and uh, 
I don't know if you guys are familiar with Ron Jarzombic, but he was in, uh, the most well-known band he was in was Watchtower. That was like a proggy thrash band from the 80s. But uh, anyway, Blotted Science. The, machin uh, the Machinations of Dementia. Forgive me if I'm butchering that. But uh, yeah, this is one of my all-time favorite progressive metal albums. Uh, all instrumental, just jaw-dropping musicianship, and just insane technicality, but not that technicality that gets just, like, boring and repetitive and just, you know, comes off as wankery. This is just every single fucking song I hear is just so catchy. These riffs will just get stuck in your head so, so easily, and it's just really hard to not headbang along to this. And, uh, man, yeah, if you haven't checked out Blotted Science and you're a progressive metal fan, change that. This is really, really cool shit. So, uh, yeah, Blotted Science, The Mechanations of Dementia. Uh, next up we have Bonded by Blood. This is, a, this is a modern thrash band that's been around for a couple years now. To be honest, I haven't listened to this band in quite some time, and it's been a long time since I've listened to this album. But, um, yeah, I mean, if you like stuff like, you know, you know, the standards, you like Slayer, you like Anthrax, you like Exodus, stuff like that. Um, not to say these are just, like, these guys are just a rip-off of that, but they definitely include a lot of uh, similar sounds to those guys. You know, they, they're not a band that's afraid to wear their influences on their sleeve, but, you know, they're, you know, they're good musicians, they're good players, they, they definitely got their own sound going off, you know, somewhat. But, uh, yeah, I mean, if you dig the modern thrash stuff, give it a listen. Bonded by Blood, uh, Feed the Beast. And the last album we have is the live album from Bloodbath, uh, live at the Vok and Carnage. Um, unfortunately, this is the only Bloodbath CD I own right now. I don't have any of their albums. Uh, I need to change that. I really do, because uh, Bloodbath is fucking, fucking killer uh, death metal. Love these guys. And uh, this is back when uh, Dan Swano and um, Michael Ackerfeld were still in the band. And fucking, man, Michael's vocals on this are just fucking beastly, man. Like, goddamn, it's, it's a shame that uh, he just kind of lost interest in death metal and kind of just wants to focus on Opeth. You know, not to say I'm not happy with where Bloodbath is right now, because, you know, I think they're doing great with uh, Nick Holmes as their vocalist, you know, the guy from Paradise Lost. I still think Bloodbath sounds great, but um, they uh, I definitely do kind of miss their sound that they had from this era. But uh, yeah, like I said, this is just a live album. has a lot of fucking killer tracks on here. You know, um, Eaton, probably one of the fucking catchiest death metal songs ever that is disguised as a, a pop song, basically. It's just impossible not to sing along to. Uh, we got So You Die, Ways to the Grave, Like Fire. Yeah. And most of you guys probably know Bloodbath, but, uh, yeah. The, the Black and Carnage, the live album from 2005. And, uh, yeah, that'll be that. So, like I said, this is A through B. Um, I hope you guys weren't expecting, like, a full-on review of any of these albums, because that's never really my intention when I'm showing off any of this stuff. I, um, I'm just here to talk about what I enjoy about it, give you some details about the albums, but, yeah, I just... I'm not here to do full-on reviews. If you want to know more and you don't really think what I'm saying is enough, go check it out for yourself. You know, that's the best way to discover music is to go listen for yourself. So, uh, yeah, that'll be that. You guys have a great day, and I will see you next time. Later.